In this demonstration, we will be covering the replacement parts for the 2.5 inch Model E1 Easy Riser check valve, as well as the 3 inch through 8 inch Model F1 Easy Riser check valves. In this demonstration, I will be using a 4 inch Model F1 Easy Riser check valve. Prior to performing maintenance on the Easy Riser check valve, refer to the technical data sheet and follow the procedures for placing the system out of service. The replacement parts offered for the Easy Riser check valves can be found in Viking's replacement parts book or on the technical data sheets. The most current information can be found on the replacement parts book or technical data sheets on our website. The Easy Riser check valves have two repair kits offered for them, the clapper assembly kit and the replacement rubber kit. Certain parts are also offered individually as well. The parts that are offered in the clapper assembly kit are the clapper, the screw, the ceiling washer, the bushings, the jam nut, the rubber retainer, and the clapper rubber. The parts that are offered in the rubber replacement kit are the jam nut, the ceiling washer, the clapper rubber, the cover gasket, the screw, and the rubber retainer. The parts that are offered individually are the cover screws, the clapper hinge pin, the cover gasket, the ceiling washer, the bushings, the hinge pin retaining rings, the jam nut, and the screw. To replace the clapper assembly, start by removing the screws from the cover. With each of the screws now removed, the cover assembly and clapper assembly can now be removed from the valve. The cover gasket can now also be removed. To install the new clapper assembly, the existing clapper assembly will need to be removed from the cover assembly. To do this, you will need to remove one of the retaining rings from the clapper hinge pin. Once the retaining ring is removed, the clapper hinge pin can now be removed from the cover assembly and the clapper assembly. This will free the existing clapper assembly and allow it to be removed from the cover assembly. To install the new clapper assembly onto the cover assembly, you will want to make sure that the clapper rubber is faced opposite of the direction of the flow arrow on the cover assembly. At this point you can now line up the holes and reinstall the hinge pin. With the hinge pin now reinstalled, the retaining ring can be reinstalled onto the hinge pin. At this point the cover gasket can now be reinstalled onto the clapper assembly and cover assembly. Do this by sliding the cover gasket over the clapper assembly and lining up the holes with the cover. At this point, you are now ready to install the new clapper assembly into the valve. When installing the clapper assembly into the valve, you will want to make sure that the clapper rubber makes contact with the water seat. To do this, you can position the clapper assembly most of the way into the valve and make sure that when you pull back on the clapper assembly that there is some sort of resistance from the rubber retainer being inside of the water seat. Once this is verified, you can reinstall the cover onto the valve by lining up the holes and reinstalling the screws.
To replace the clapper rubber, start by removing the screws from the cover. With each of the screws now removed, the cover assembly and clapper assembly can now be removed from the valve. The cover gasket can now also be removed. To replace the clap rubber, you will need to remove the rubber retaining ring from the clapper to free the clapper rubber. Do this by removing the jam nut from the clapper rubber. With the jam nut now removed, the screw and sealing washer can be removed from the clapper assembly. This will allow the rubber retainer and the clapper rubber to be removed. To install the new clapper rubber, position the clapper rubber on the clapper assembly so that the grooved edge is facing down. This will allow the rubber retainer to fit up into the grooved edge of the clapper rubber. Reinstall the screw and sealing washer assembly and reinstall the jam nut. With the new clapper rubber now installed onto the clapper assembly, you will want to reinstall the cover gasket onto the cover by sliding it over the clapper assembly. Once this is done, you can reinstall the clapper assembly back into the valve. Make sure that the clapper rubber is lined up with the seat of the valve. To do this, you will need to insert the clapper assembly most of the way into the valve and pull back on it to make sure that the rubber retainer is inside the seat of the valve. When you pull back, you will feel some resistance if it is. Once this is done, you can line up the holes of the cover with the body and reinstall the cover screws. To replace the cover gasket, Start by removing the cover screws from the cover. With each of the screws now removed, the cover assembly and clapper assembly can now be removed from the valve. To remove the cover gasket, slide it over the clapper assembly. Install the new cover gasket by sliding it over the clapper assembly onto the cover. The clapper assembly is now ready to be reinstalled into the valve. When reinstalling the clapper assembly into the valve, make sure that the clapper rubber comes in contact with the water seat. To do this, install the clapper assembly majority of the way into the valve and pull back on the cover assembly to make sure there is some resistance. This means that the rubber retainer is now inside of the water seat and that the clapper rubber will line up with the seat of the valve. Once you have done this, you can line up the holes of the cover and reinstall the screws. This concludes our demonstration of the repair parts for the models E1 and F1 Easy Riser Swing Check Valves.